Hello, everybody. God bless you. It's your brother in Christ, Church Boy Edwin Covington. And welcome to another episode of Eating with Church Boy. <laughs> I'm excited, y'all, tonight. Uh, this is the first fish tutorial that I'm going to be doing right here. A lot of people are asking me, talking about where, where the fish tutorial, fish tutorial is at. So here we go. We're going to have a fish tutorial tonight. And I'm going to show y'all exactly what I got on my plate. I got a big plate of fish. I got bass. I got brims. And I got shrimp. Look. I got shrimp. I even got broccoli and cheese. And I got bread. I got bread rolls on the side. Do y'all see that? Looks so lovely. Bread rolls on the side. And I even for dessert, let me show y'all. I got some fruit. Look at that. Woo-wee. God, it's good, ain't it? <laughs> okay. And, and I got the drink. I got this. I'm going to put y'all on to something right here. If y'all don't know nothing about this right here, this pineapple. Woo. This pineapple minute made right here. Y'all need to try this out. This is delicious. I'm telling you. But before I get started, I'm going to pray, y'all. Let me get my drink open. I know I'm gonna need it. I know I'm gonna need it. So before I get started with this big meal, I'm gonna pray. Heavenly Father, I call upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask you to bless this food, Father, that it may be good to my body and not harm. Sanctified in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Alright, now we got that out the way. It's time to eat. First, let me put a little hot sauce, y'all. Gotta have Texas Pete. Gotta have Texas Pete. Gotta have Texas Pete. A little bit of Texas Pete. This right here is a bass. This first fish I'm gonna eat is a bass. Y'all see that? It's a whole bass. I'm gonna start with the tail first. Mmm. 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 God, it's good. Yeah. Look at that meat inside of y'all. Look at that. Good and white. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Now this do got bones in it. So you got to be careful. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Mm. More thing. Let's get into it. Mm. Broccoli. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. That's good. Shrimp. Look at that. Got shrimp right on the side, y'all. See that? See the shrimp? Mm. Okay. Mm hmm. Hmm. Good bag is good. Mm hmm. I say, you got to be careful when you eat this big. The bones. You got bones in certain places. You ain't careful. You will take one down. You will take one down. Mm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm. Yes, Lord, look at that chunk of meat right there. Mm. Mm. Y'all having a blessed day. It's Saturday. It's a day where everybody's supposed to be resting. Resting up. Enjoying your family. Enjoying the weekend. Shout out to my wife for cooking this for me. I know sometimes I may be a headache. 
<laughs> but to God be the glory. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. She did an awesome job. That took me to Look at her, y'all. Look at her. I want to see the lightning right over here, cause cause y'all see what I'm seeing, cause this is amazing. This is amazing. I'm telling y'all. Look at her. Some people look at fishing like a sport. I don't look at it as a sport. I look at it as a blessing. It's a way of living. It's a way of living. You can feed your family by learning how to fish. There's a lot of people that know how to fish. But then again, there's a lot of people that don't know how to fish. And if you are the one, one of the ones that don't know how to fish, my advice to you is to learn. Because the way this world is up today, you're going to need to learn how to do something. I'm telling you. Because ain't no telling when things are shut down in this world. And you got to be able to live, you got to be able to live off the land take care of your family if you got to survive. And how you going to survive if you don't know how to fish, you don't know how to hunt, you don't know how to go in the woods and come out with a meal. People so, people so caught up in the luxury of the world, if you take the internet away, if you take their cell phone away, if you take their luxury away, they wouldn't know what to do. But you put me out in the woods I'm gonna come out with a meal. I know how to build clubhouses too. I build a house in the wood. Out of wood. Tell me. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. y'all see that? Can y'all see that thing? Mm hmm. Mm. They're good. They are good. Good. I'm already getting. I'm already getting full. I believe my wife is right on this. Good, baby. You know you need all that food. Doing that tutorial. I got an old plate of fruit to the left over here too. Mm. My mama told me today, 
is where, you know, when your face get met fat again. <laughs> To the broccolis, the broccoli and cheese. Mm. Mm. Church tomorrow, y'all. How many of y'all going to church? How many of y'all going to church? Praise the Lord tomorrow. Mm. I know we is. I'm telling you. Some people may think they don't need church. I need it. It keeps me sharp. It keeps me sharp as a Christian. You know, sometimes we can stray away because of life and the things that we go through in life, the situation that we put ourselves in, the situation that we are put in in life. But church balances us out. And those that are those of us that's really seeking God, trying to follow Jesus, not saying we're perfect. People think when you become saved, people think when you say you saved and you live for Jesus, they're going to look at you like you're perfect. And people, people going to watch you and and pay attention and make sure they point out where you're wrong at. If you make one mistake when you say and somebody see you, they're going to point it out possibly put you back on the crow. They're going to try to crucify you. But people got to understand, man, we're saved by grace. We're saved by grace, y'all. Just because I say I'm saved, it don't mean that I'm better than nobody. It means that I realized that I couldn't live my life without Jesus. I was making a mess of my life and I was trying to live it on my own. Even to this day, sometimes I make a mess. But I got Jesus on my team now to help me clean it up. And to help me and to teach me what I need to know in order to grow in Him. So I can love people the way people need to be loved. So I can walk my walking life the way I need to walk according to His will. We all human, yo. We all human. We all error. We all forgot flaws. So don't look at me like I'm a perfect creature. And don't hold me to no high standard like that either. Just because I'm a preacher, a minister, a reverend, a man of God. No. You hold me to the standard that I'm saved by grace. And I'm supposed to strive to do the right thing. It don't mean every time I'm going to get it right. I'm 
sometimes I mess up. But guess what? I know the way to get down on my knees. And that's Jesus. Jesus forgive me one more time. And you know what he do? He forgive me just like he forgive you. Again and again. Mm. is ever since I gave my life to God it's been better it's been better it's been better you can't trick me to take a drink of alcohol you can't trick me to sniff a line of coke look at y'all look how big that one is I left my wife my wife got some nice size in there too look at that Big boy, that's a big boy. Mm. 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 We eat the tail first around him. Call it crunchy. They crunchy. Mm. Mm. Video, I ain't want to make a long video, y'all. It'd be hard to post a long video. I'm trying to clear it. Do my man. Uh, I hate to draw. Gave y'all a little bit of wisdom and a little bit of love. And no matter what y'all going through in life, keep your hand in Jesus' hand. Don't ever try to live your life without the Lord. Don't ever let nobody pull you away from the Lord. You go to church. Wherever you got to go at to get the word of God, that's where you go. Because man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. I'll never forget that. You can't live off this bread alone. You're going to need Jesus. Because he provides this bread. And that's what we got to remember. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> I'm gonna eat a little bit of this fruit with y'all. I'm gonna have to take a break. That was a lot of food. Look at that. I got some fruit. <laughs> Cantaloupe, just try. Mm. 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 That's good. That's good. Got a green apple right here. Okay. Mm. It's juicy. Mm. Got a little. Mm. A little sour taste to it. Mm, mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Mm -hmm. What's this? Mm. Mm. It's good. I could eat all this. I 
I don't think we we must get full. Pretty good, that all is not easy. Alright y'all. Let me really get out of here. Good night, everybody. God bless you all.